How's it going guys? Magmortar is a cool Pokemon, that's for sure, with its giant boomsticks on his arm spitting fire every turn. However, today we're going to turn those boomsticks into knuckle sandwiches and tear up the battlefield with a physical set. Today's battle is against Pokemaster from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord, and he has a channel as well where he uploads battles, so go check him out. So with that being said, be sure to mark punch that subscribe button, and without further ado, let the battle commence. Okay, Chris, aka Pokemaster, has brought a pretty cool team. I see the Meganium, and I like it. I like it. Uh, Politoed's cool to see, and Polyrath as well. I assume it, the whole team is really cool to see. Even Dragology, even though it's ugly. But um, looking at the team, I think we've got a pretty decent matchup with Magmortar. If we get rid of that Politoed, stuff from Set of the Rain and stuff. Um, Vaporeon goes pretty hard here. If we get rid of that Meganium, setting up the Calm Mines and stuff, and the Acid Armors. So I think we're alright to just lead off with maybe Landorus and go for it. No, not Landorus. Um, Registeel's my stealth, stealth Rock. So I might just lead off with Registeel, Stealth Rock. Um, and then kind of go from there. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Chris. So they're going to lead off with Politoed. Nice and shiny as I led off with my Registeel, which is not shiny. It is shiny because it's made of metal, but it's not shiny. Anyway, they get the Drizzle up straight away, which is kind of dangerous. But we're going to go for a Stealth Rock right off the bat. Just to get the Stealth Rocks up, I think it's going to be important. They go for a Weather Ball. Now, we are specially defensive. We should tank this pretty well. Yeah, it's a free shot. Even then, even then it's not really much of a free shot. We get the red card. I don't really see any potential setup sweepers on the team other than the Braviary, which Registeel can handle. So, um, this is great. So, Sliverwing actually gets dragged out, which is unfortunate. We get a free Stealth Rock sub, which is great. And uh, they're not Booster Energy, which is good to know. So, they're probably Banded or something. So, we get the Stealth Rocks, like so. And then we simply go out into our Landorus because we get the Intimidate off and also because it, their attacks aren't going to do anything to us. So we'll withdraw Registeel. We'll go to Landorus real quick. Good old Landorus theory and you can't go wrong with Landorus. There we go. Get the Intimidate off, which is great. They then go for a U-turn, which is going to do... No, no, wow, it did more damage than I thought it would. It was a crit, that's right. That's why. So I'm trying to decide whether that's a... Uh, banded or not. Probably is, to be fair. Okay, so in comes Polyrath. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. Get some Stealth Rock chip, which is nice. Um, now, we can't stay in with uh, Landorus, obviously, unless we Terra Water, but I don't really want to waste my Terra just yet. I think we can save the Terra for later. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch out. Um, I think Vaporeon's our best answer here. I think. And then we can Acid Armor up. We can't really do anything in return. That's the problem. Um, if we assume they're going to go for an Ice Punch or a Liquidation, we could go into either uh, Psychozar. But I think I think Ice Punch or Liquidation is coming, so I'm going to go Vaporeon. So we actually withdraw their Polyrath. They predict the switch. And they're going to go into Braviary, the Rank Master, which is, of course, the Braviary. Nice and shiny. We um, They get uh, Stealth Rocks, so they're not Heavy Dew Boost, which is great. We get to switch out into our Vaporeon. Now, Vaporeon is very specially bulky. We haven't got much investment in special defense or any at all. We've got enough defense so that when we use Acid Armor, it takes us to over 400. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Calm Mind up on this Braviary. I think that's the best way to go. So, they go for their Hurricane. That's fine. It's not going to two-shot us, right? It does. It does two-shot us. So, Calm Mind is useless here. Very unfortunate. Calm Mind is useless here. Or very unfortunate. Um, that is definitely a, either Specs or it's um, Sheer Force because Hurricane gets boosted by Sheer Force. So I'm, I'm going to guess that it, if we assume it's Sheer Force and they can change up moves, we should switch out. I'm leaning towards the Registeel. So I'm going to go Registeel. Hopefully they're not Tinted Lens and they are Sheer Force. Tinted Lens, the Hurricane might do a bit too much damage. So we'll go to Metallica now. They go for a hurricane again. It should bounce off us. We are specially defensive. Yeah, it does that. There we go. No confusion again. So I'm, I'm leaning towards them being sheer force here. So looking at the squad, I think I'm going to go for a thunder wave here. I think they switch out. I don't think they stay in. They withdraw the Braviary, which is fine. What are they going to go into? Sliverwing? Sliverwing comes in the rank master. Nice and shiny as before. Gotta love it. Um, Self Rock Chip's going to go into effect, which is great. We go for a thunder wave, and now this thing's paralyzed. It's less of a threat, which is great. So what we can now do is, because the rain's going to wear off any turn now, won't be this turn, I think it's not the next turn, the, week, the turn after. They might go straight for a CC here, so I'm, I'm going to go Landorus once again. This time we'll get the Intimidate off, and hopefully they don't U-turn here. 
If they do U-turn, they go straight into Polyrath, in which case, I think we just let Landorus go down at that point. So Slivwing comes in, uh, and they go for a close combat, which is great. That's going to bounce right off us. There we go. Now, they can probably tell we're not um, defensive by that damage. So let's go ahead, and if we assume they're going to switch out, we should go for an Earthquake here. Earthquake will two-shot now they've got a defense drop. So I think Earthquake's the best option for us. Earthquake comes through. And it is a two-shot, like I said. They go for a U-turn, though, which means that we get a free... Um, that means that well, it basically means that they get the, the damage pretty much. So that Sliverwing is no longer such a big threat. Yeah, Polyrath comes back in. That's fine. Polyrath is a threat in the rain. That's for sure. Um, they're probably counting the turns for the rain, but the rain actually stops this turn, which is fantastic. So now they actually get some leftover recovery, which is good to know. So they're probably a bulk upset if that's the case. In which case, it's probably better for us to go for a taunt here. So I'm going to go for a taunt, stopping from bulking up. They actually withdraw the Polyrath, expecting us to switch out, maybe. But we didn't. And they go into Braviary, which is once again a big threat. So Braviary comes in. Get some Stealth Rock Chip, which is nice. We go for a Taunt. We didn't want that Polyrath set up Bulk Ups. Maybe that was a bad play, I don't know. All I know is we have Stone Edge. I'm going to risk the Stone Edge. Uh, we should outspeed. They actually withdraw the Braviary. And they're going to go Politoed. Polito the Rank Master comes in. So we're going to reveal the Stone Edge to this thing. They get the Drizzle up, which is fine. We go for a Stone Edge. It should do a nice bit of chip. It's actually enough to the point where I know Earthquake will KO here. So let's go for an Earthquake. They withdraw the Politoed. What are they going to go into? Maybe Meganium or Braviary? Sliverwing. Interesting choice. So with Sliverwing in, we get some Stealth Rock chip and then we finish it off with an Earthquake. So Sliverwing is a sack play here. We go for an Earthquake. They get a free switch back into Polyrath, which is terrifying. But at this point, we may as well just let Nandorus go down. Because we do not have a good switch in to Polyrath, that's for sure. So we're going to Polyrath right now. They will go into Polyrath, sorry. We're going to let them take us down. We'll try and go for a taunt, stop them from bulk upping. If they are bulk up. But we'll try and go for a taunt anyway. They go for a Drain Punch, which does KO us. And uh, now what we can do is, which is really interesting, is we can bring Gardevoir in and trace the Swift Swim. And we are Assault Vest, so we can just start sp spamming off uh, attacks at this, this team. So let's go into our Gardevoir now. Now, the, now that the Polyrath's on the, on the field, we can trace its um, Swift Swim, like so. We should outspeed the Polyrath. I'm pretty sure Polyrath gets outsped by Gardevoir. And we simply Moonblast. They actually go for a Terra. Okay, so Terra is a big deal. Terra is a big deal right here. And the Terra Steel. That's a good play. It's a really good play. So they're going to get the Guard of our KO now if they have Terra Blast. If they have Terra Blast. We obviously outspeed because of the Swift Swim. And that does a decent bit of damage, not, not going to lie. They go for a Warfall though. They don't have Terra Blast, which is good. As we do live that, which is fantastic. So now... Now... Now that we know this thing's Terra'd... We're in a bit more of a unique position. Why, what do I mean by that? So, the thing about this team is... It relies... I'm, I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt for a start. So, we go for a Thunderbolt. Just get some more damage off on the Polyrath. There we go. They go for a Bulk... Oh, they went for a Bulk... They thought we would switch? Or they didn't think we would have Thunderbolt. We could have had an Aura Spear, to be fair. Um, so, they got the Bulk up off, which is unfortunate. But it's not the end of the world. So we go for a Thunderbolt here again all the time. Thunderbolt comes through. Doesn't get a KO, which is fine. They go for a Drain Punch, which is also fine. And we just go Magmortar and we Mark Punch this thing. We go Magmortar, we Mark Punch this thing. So Gardevoir goes down. Right. Polyrath is going to go ahead and get its leftovers recovery. That's fine. It's got one Bulk Up up. Mark Punch should KO here should so let's go into magmortar it's a boomstick there we go and we just go for a mark punch there's no reason not to go for a mark punch mark punch comes through takes out the polyrath which is fantastic um, and polyrath goes down which is great so now we've got a, a pretty unique position because depending on what they bring in next we could deal with it accordingly so 
Um, I think the rain wears off either this turn or the next turn, right? If I've been counting correctly. Braviary comes in. That's fine. Braviary is a fine switch here. It's going to get some Stealth Rock Chip, unfortunately, for them. We do outspeed, but the rain's going to stop Flame Charge from KOing. So we're going to have to sack off Vaporeon here. So we'll sack off Vaporeon. Like so. Aquarius can come on in. They go for a Hurricane. That's fine. It's going to take out Vaporeon, no problem, thanks to that Sheer Force. And then all we need to do here is, because the rain has stopped, we can go back into our... Um, our Magmortar, and we can Flame Charge this thing. That works, right? So let's go Magmortar now. The Boomstick comes in. And we just go for a Flame Charge, boosting our speed as well. And it should also KO. So Flame Charge comes through. Oh, really? Really? Are you kidding me right now? They go for a Psyche. That's going to KO Magmortar, unfortunately. <gasps> we lived! We lived! Okay, so no Belly Drum this game. But we live in. We live in. So now, all we do is go for another Flame Charge. They withdraw the Bravey area. Are they going to bring Politoed in? Yeah, Polito comes in. That's fine. We have got the Earthquake, so we can hit this thing for some decent damage. So now, they get the Drizzle. We go for a Flame Charge, which is going to do Note. Absolutely Note, except from boost our speed. And then we try and KO this thing with an Earthquake right now. They withdraw the Politoed. Okay. Hopefully, we see a Dragalge switch. Braviary, the sacking it off. Fair enough. Braviary comes in. He gets hurt by the stones. We reveal the Earthquake. So Magmortar's got two KOs and one KO while he was on the field by Stealth Rocks, which is not too bad. In comes Meganium. Meganium's a very bold choice because we could have some sort of fire move that's stronger than Flame Charge, but, I mean, we don't. Um, so that's, that's the unfortunate part here. So what we can do here is we can still use this. Earthquake's going to hit that Dragaldi really hard. So I'm going to go into my Registeel real quick. And if they Swords Dance and they want to Terra... Uh, not Terra. They want to Earthquake after the Swords Dance, then that's fine. We'll just go... Uh, Co uh, not Corbinite. Um, Psychos afterwards. So they actually go for an Earthquake now. Which isn't going to KO our Metallica. And then we just go for a Heavy Slam just in case they don't... Just in case they set up, really. Trailblaze. Boosting the speed. Oh, that's a good play. I recognize this Meganium set, you know? I recognize this Meganium set. That's pretty cool. Really cool, in fact. So now, we have to go um, Cyclazar. We have to go Cyclazar. And we have to drop a Draco for, for, for starters. So let's drop a Draco right now. They can't Terra, because they've already used their Terra up. So they go for a Swords Dance instead. That's bold. We go for a Draco. We don't miss, like, luckily. That's going to do a lot of damage to the Meganium, but is it enough? Let's try going for a knockoff. Earthquake's going to come through there. That's going to KO us from there. <gasps> we lived! We live in! And we knock off their Covert Cloak. Yeah, that is the Meganium set that I use. That's awesome. Um, let's just go for a Rapid Spin, just in case they switch. They actually go for a Trailblaze, which is fine. But they are in range for... Um, Mark Punch from the Magmortar, which is crazy cool. So Magmortar is going to come in now. There's the Magmortar coming in. It was a boomstick. So now we just go for a Mark Punch, and that should KO them. So Mark Punch comes through. There we go. KO in the Meganium, which is fantastic. That was fantastic. Cyclops are living that plus two earthquake was amazing. The rain does stop as well, which is fantastic. Polito comes in. Get some stealth rock chip, which is great. And it does get that uh, drizzle up, which is awesome. And then we go for an earthquake. We go for an earthquake, because why not? There we go. Polito goes down. That's Magmortar claiming another KO. Four now, I believe. Which is fantastic. 
Now it's Dragalge's turn. So Dragalge probably goes for a water type move here. So if there's any chance of us living that, we have to Terra Fighting. I don't think we live, but let's Terra Fighting Earthquake anyway. So we Terra Fighting. Just so that we can be neutral to the water type move that might be coming our way. And potentially live. But in the rain, I don't think we live any water type move from this thing. So that's that's the unfortunate part. So we're Terra Fighting. If anyone were Terra Ground, eh? And then Earthquake comes through. And yeah, if we were Terra Ground, I would have KO'd. But we weren't, unfortunately. So Sludge Wave comes through. That's going to KO us, no problem. And that's going to be the game. So GG Pokemaster, that was a really fun one. Magmortar did really well there. Really well, even without his belly drum tech. He did super well. So GG Chris.